Type man in boxing, led the flair cops. Shout out to Goodfellas Sports TV. Woo! All right, man. Um, let's talk about Spence and Crawford. All right, real quick. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, next subscribe button is the bell icon button hit all notification increase your chance to get notifications we go live or drop a video right so um a lot of people concerned i see michael montero say this to a few people concerned saying um time is running out for crawford expense pbc don't care about you know the don't care if this fight do well in general all right they don't want to make the big black fights. Their motto is that they prefer the Latino versus Latino or Latino versus black fights or the white in the mix with all those. They don't care about the success of this fight. They don't want this fight to be successful because then they feel like they're going to have to make the other fights that fans want to see. Their motto isn't to give y'all the biggest and the best fights. It's not. This is the most talked about fight, no matter if they talking about Shields, Marshall, Bum Gardner, um, Michaela Mayer, if they talking about Anthony Joshua, Fury, Canelo, Triple G. The main topic that's being brought up, even including some of the things involved in the fight, venue, attributes, whatever, is being Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. It's the most talked about fight out there. All right? And Al Heyman still dragging his feet to make this fight. You know, and the fight is done. It's just it's just boiling down to, you know, Espinosa and Al Heyman figuring this schedule out. And coming into agreement where Viacom can be happy, you know, with some fights. That's just what it's boiling down to. Right? It's the only major roadblock is the fall schedule, which, you know, I think fall don't start until September 23rd. Last day of summer, September 22nd. So, I mean, like I said before, they don't care how successful this fight is. You know, when the last time you've seen PBC promote the hell out of a pay-per-view? Look at Andy Ruiz Ortiz. Did they really promote the hell out of the pay-per-view? Did they did do like a reality show leading up to that pay-per-view? I don't remember seeing it. My bad, I had to make a bank run, but... Um, yeah, they don't, like I said before, you know, they don't really care about promoting these pay-per-views hard. So everybody talking about, well, time running out, time running. How many weeks notice did they get for Charles Martin, Luis Ortiz, Keith Thurman, Mario Barrios? You know, technically how many weeks did they announce Ula Sanero Spence? You know what I'm saying? You know, everybody had to like, you know, six months to build the pay-per-view. They not putting much into these pay-per-views regardless. They try to do a scene, Rotman and Jake Paul on like four weeks notice. And they be in Showtime. So that's my whole thing about it. Everybody act like they, you know, they probably must think from an internet standpoint and a fan standpoint, since it's so much demand for the fight, you know what I'm saying? They probably feel like the fight is already promoted. That's kind of like what happened with Manny Pacquiao and, um, and Floyd Mayweather, they didn't do a great job promoting Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather at all. The promotional job had already been done just from the build up from 2008 to 2009 on up. So, it, you know, they, they, when the last great pay-per-view was really marketed and, and promoted like that, even, even when they use like the cable and satellite companies and pay-per-view.com, come on, Earl Spence and Lugas wasn't fantastic wasn't a fantastic in marketing Crawford and Sean Porter wasn't a great mark wasn't marketing great or promoted great so you got to go back a long time to where they actually put real work in and promoting the fight you know what I'm saying real work so if they announce it you know shit you know in the first week of October and give you like seven weeks it is what it is. You gotta think about it. Tanking, tanking, uh, Rolando. I mean, excuse me. Tanking, uh, Ryan Garcia. It's only gonna be maybe a month after Spencer Crawford. Think about that for a minute. It's probably gonna be just a month after Spencer Crawford, if that. You know. So you gotta really question. You, we've been questioning the ability to market and sell these fights. 
We've been questioning it. And they've been pretty putrid at doing so. And I and I and they don't it take money to make money. And they don't want to risk it on the on something. They don't want to continue to find risk it financially and then on nothing come dead people don't buy it. You know, they don't really want this fight to sell well. They didn't want to make this fight. You know, if they really wanted to make this fight on all ends, and that's the fighters end, that's Al Heyman end, and that's Showtime end, Al, if Show, Al Espinosa be like, fuck, we'll figure out this schedule and all that later. We're going to go ahead and start promoting this Crawford and Spence fight. And like I told y'all before, they care more about Benavidez and Charlo than this fight because Espinosa want to put that on regular Showtime. So, think about that for a minute. They more invested in that. Doing something that's going to grow the subscriber base. You know, they really don't care about, you know, this fight. If they did, a little bit of issue between Al Hamm and Espinosa, any issue, I'm not going to stop it. They're going to break bread and figure out the shit down the line. They don't want to make this fight. And when it always come down to the black dollar, they very, very sketchy. Very sketchy. Black people pour trillions of dollars into the economy every year, and it's the most disrespected dollar. Come on. How many Mexicans you see with Gucci and, and fucking Louis Vuitton and you know what I'm saying? And all this designer bullshit they got on. All this jewelry and shit. And then, you know, niggas ain't got a pocket to piss in. You know? And what, one of the reasons it's the most disrespected, in boxing for sure, it's one of the most disrespected uh, 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 dollars is because they, you know, quote unquote, they don't know how to market to the black community. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to get black people to come out and, and spend. Black people don't spend nothing but with me. I see these niggas with new Jordan on. Thousand dollar designer jeans, thousand dollar shirts, purses, uh, man bags, fanny packs. You know what I'm saying? And cars that they can't afford. Shit, I'm seeing like uh, one year old kids going trips to New York and Chicago. Fucking newborns, basically. Remember, you used to just do cake and ice cream, invite a few kids over because a one-year-old not going to remember his first birthday. So it's pretty much bare minimum. Now you got one-year-olds going, traveling across country for their birthday. Now you got kids having designer Gucci bibs and Louis Vuitton diaper bags and shit of that nature. And their parents got a credit score of 550, 500, 530 or no credit at all. feel me so to me man it's, to, it's crazy it's, it's real life crazy out here it's real life crazy but that, they didn't want Earl if Earl Spence didn't want to make this fight this fight wouldn't even be, be happening but at the end of the day it's a lot of pressure on him to make this fight Right? Uh, there's a lot of pressure on everybody, Crawford and everybody, but they don't really want to make this fight. So they don't care if this fight succeed or fail. It ain't like PBC ain't lost a bunch of money before. They about to get water $20 million to fight fucking Lanes. They not going to make $20 million on off pay-per-view off that shit. They not going to make $20 million at the gate. I'll tell you that right now. That's a regular TV fight. That's damn near a bounce TV fight. So, so of course, then they're going to turn around. The fight don't do what it was supposed to do. They're going to turn around and say, well, Tim Smith going to come out and say, I told you guys you wasn't going to buy it. You was going to steal it. Y'all wasn't going to come to it. Knowing that fight about to be announced on an eight to six week notice, if you look, eight weeks. Eight weeks. Eight weeks.
you know? So they don't want they don't they they don't want to do the fight. Of course, they're gonna do the bare minimum in promoting it. They're gonna do the bare minimum and, and, and with all access, whatever the hell they calling it, is trash compared to 24-7. They're gonna do the bare minimum. You know? The bare minimum. Because we didn't want to make this shit no way. PBC is not in the business of making big fights. They're not. They're not. And can't nobody argue that. They ain't in the business for quote unquote putting the power back in the fighter's hands. That's the business they in. Putting the power back in the in the fighter's hands. That's the business they in. That's the business they in. That's what they believe in. You know? They don't believe in, you know. They don't believe in, 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 in none of that other shit. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you that right now. But as the sun is one, let y'all know that. Check out the World Two Way playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop a video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign CJ Good Three One Three. Venmo CJ Good Three One Three. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. You can cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Um, all my information is in the link tree. Appreciate the love, support. One time for one time. Peace.